hello hello everybody welcome back to the channel it's been a good long while since since i've filmed a like a sit down makeup routine um, but i really wanted to do it today i was about to put my makeup on and i figured i would turn on the camera and show you guys these new tinted moisturizers from sephora these are the matte perfection tinted moisturizers um, they're the same product i just have two shades to make my ideal shade but here's what they look like So I have the shade 02 Silk, which is the lighter shade, as well as the shade 03 Cashmere. Um, and together they pretty much make, they look very similar in the viewfinder right now, but together they make my perfect shade. Alrighty. So to start, I'm just going to apply a primer. I am going to use my favorite Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I only take a small pump of that, and I mostly use it on my T-zone. I have oily skin, so even though these are matte tinted moisturizers, I still need a mattifying primer. Okay, so I actually ended up picking these guys up on a whim. They were in the recommended section when I was placing my last Sephora order, and I figured I would give them a go because I had never seen them before, and they had pretty decent reviews. Oh, I ended up loving them. So I usually take equal parts and just kind of mix them together on the back of my hand. And a little goes a long way. So that is cashmere. And that is O2 Silk. I find with these, if you let them warm up for a while on your skin it applies a lot better they're beautiful either way but just on my skin it applies better if it's quite warm so that's all mixed up there and then I'm gonna take whatever's on my finger and just start dotting it around my face I really focus on my t-zone like the center of my face and then whatever is left I just kind of dot everywhere else so then I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation brush which is the MAC 170 and I'm just gonna start blending that out This tinted moisturizer just glides on so easily, like it's seamless, it's so nice. And it doesn't feel like it's just sitting on top of my skin, if that makes sense. And for a tinted moisturizer, oops, sorry, I just bumped you guys. For a tinted moisturizer, it has a pretty decent amount of coverage, but still feels super, super light on the skin. So next I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I am using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Corrector. This is in the shade 110 Fair. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know. This is my tried and true. I use it almost every single day. And I've been using it for years. I'm going to take a little bit and put it over this, these two little acne scars here. And then, because I want really light coverage, lately I've been really, really liking a very thin, light coverage. I'm going to go in with my MAC 170 and blend that all out. I used to blend my concealer out with my finger um, because I liked a lot more coverage. And I just found blend it out that way, it gave me a ton more coverage. But lately, as my skin has been improving, um, I've just been, yeah, just been preferring a much lighter coverage. Okay, and now for just a tiny bit of extra brightness, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I have the shade 8B Porcelain Beige, which is actually a little light for me. I was surprised. So I'm just trying to use it up. And I'm just putting the smallest amount because a little really does go a long way, which is why it's taking me so long to actually use it up. And then I'm going in again with my MAC 170 and just buffing that in. 
It just does the smallest amount, but for every day that's kind of my jam. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit more and just dot it right on the inner corners of my eyes and I'm going to blend that out just to kind of brighten up that area a little bit. I think it's because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but it's looking very blue, very dark. So now I'm going to go on with the setting spray just to set that base layer. I'm using my Milani Make It Last setting spray, which is one of my favorite drugstore setting sprays. Okay, so this has been on my skin for maybe like 15 minutes. I just kind of really like to let my base sink in before I powder. So I think it's been long enough. I'm just going to smooth out any creasing. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with powder. I have been loving and using my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna pick that up on a Real Techniques setting brush and do my under eyes. And then I always like to use this brush to powder around my nose just so that I make sure I'm getting in all the little nooks and crannies <laughs> to really set the makeup in that area just because my makeup always rubs off around my nose first and then i'm gonna go in with whatever is left in the, the lid and i'm gonna pick that up on my elf flawless face brush and just really lightly dust that over the rest of my face again this is a mattifying tinted moisturizer if your skin isn't as oily as mine you probably won't even need powder on top of it but that is not the case with my skin Okay, I can't do much for my brows today because they're very unruly as I'm trying to grow them out a little bit, but I am going to give them a quick swipe of brow gel. So I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow, and I have the shade Blondie Brows. Uh, this is a really decent, like, $2 brow gel. It just, like, holds them in place enough as a tiny little bit of tint. Because I find that my hair is quite warm toned. I don't know if you can really tell in this video. And my brows are very like dark and like a cool brown. So I like to kind of warm them up with a brow gel a little bit. Just to tint them a smidge to make, you know, everything look like it matches. So next I'm going in with a little bit of bronzer and bronzer. Bronzer and blush. I'm using the Physicians Formula. Uh, butter bronzer in the shade light bronzer. I've had this for years and I just rediscovered it when I did a makeup clear out So I'm gonna try and use this up um, And then I'm pairing it with the essence silky touch blush in the shade 20 baby doll Again, if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know that this is probably my favorite Cool toned drugstore blush. I kind of just like hold them like this in my hand and I take my blush brush and just kind of dip it in one dip it in the other go back and forth a little bit, tap it off, and then I'm just gonna really, really quickly add a little bit of color to my cheeks. And then I'm also gonna take this, I'm gonna squish it a little bit and take it over my eyes. Like so. So for every day, sometimes I'll wear eyeliner, sometimes I won't today, I kind of feel like it just because I'm filming another video later in the day. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Cool Eyeliner in the shade 603A Sima Brown now. I've been really, really loving and using a lot of drugstore makeup lately and I'm just going to really roughly smudge that from the outer corner to like halfway along my eyelid and then I just take my finger and smudge it out. Like that. 
it just adds like a little something. Like so. Next up, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm just using this really, really old QO eyelash curler. I really need a new one. It's starting to like pull at my lashes. Not because it's dirty, I just think the shape isn't the best. So if anyone knows of a really, really good brand for eyelash curlers, let me know. Let me know your favorite because I'm looking to buy a new one. All right, eyelashes are curled. I'm gonna go in with my mascara now. So I just finished up my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I think that's what it's called. Um, which I actually got as part of an influencer box box. I really, really liked this mascara. I've never used a mascara that gave me so much like clean looking volume. It didn't clump or anything and it made my lashes look super, super long. My huge issue with this is that it transferred so much. No matter what I did, it is not waterproof and I guess it's just like because of my eye shape, I always get mascara transfer along my lower lash line. So. I have now picked up my beloved L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara, and this is in the shade Black. Um, this mascara never transfers on me, but it definitely doesn't give me the same like amazing results as the Velvet Noir Mascara. But it is really nice to wear this on an everyday basis and not have to worry about mascara just getting all over the rest of my face. So for an everyday lip, my go-to is Max Faux. It's just the prettiest rosy pink. And I find that if I just pick some up with my finger and just pat it into my lips, it's more wearable for daytime, I guess. I like applying it that way because I really don't like a defined lip line. It's just kind of specific to me and my lip shape, but I find I look better without a very defined, sharp lip line. So yeah, I think that looks really pretty. That is my favorite everyday lipstick color. Okay, and that is the finished look. I just think this foundation is so pretty. And I guess I should stop calling it a foundation. <laughs> I just think this matte tinted moisturizer is so pretty. It just goes on so smoothly and it actually makes me look poor. So yeah, I don't remember the price point right off the top of my head, but I know it was super affordable. Like I, I wanna say under $20 Canadian. Okay guys, well that is it. That is all for this video. I just wanted to do a quick everyday makeup routine to show you the products that I've been using and loving lately because it's been ages since I have done that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you liked it and if you aren't already subscribed and you want to keep hanging out with me over here on my little corner of the internet then just hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so that my videos actually show up in your feed in your youtube inbox yeah i'm gonna get started on my day and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of yours and i will see you in my next video bye guys